Hi, this is Richard Hutchinson with Doan University Microbiology class, and I'm here doing my experiment with cabbage, green cabbage, and red cabbage. So uh, basically, to start the experiment, I chopped up uh, the green cabbage into small uniform pieces. Uh, I think there was um, four cups of this, and I put that in to a bowl with four uh, tablespoons of salt and mixed it all together. I let that set for uh, approximately two hours uh, so I could get some juices going. I took the juice uh, from the bottom of the uh, of the bowl right here. You can still see some particles in there and I put the rest of the green cabbage into this jar which uh, I also filled uh, with a plastic bag and uh, which is filled with water to put some pressure in there and also to take up some of the space and uh, naturally that would uh, make less air available to the the cabbage in the jar so this is what we have here um, there's my name and the date um, after I did that I put a small uh, ring of oil vegetable oil on the top of the jar and a loose aluminum foil, loose piece of aluminum foil over top and uh, tightened the lid down. So this is going to sit for approximately 11 days and uh, we'll see what happens with that. In the meantime I boiled uh, the red cabbage which you can see here which was strained out. Um, still a little juicy there and uh, I took some of that juice after it was boiled and put it in this cup. So I have two cups here, one with the green cabbage juice and one with the red cabbage juice. And I tested the pH of both of those liquids with litmus paper. And here are the results. Uh, it might not be easy to see in the video, but on your left here, my right, is the green cabbage. And as you can see, there's the litmus paper. Um, here is the, the indicator right here in the center. Didn't see much change with the green cabbage. It stayed pretty much yellow, which would indicate a pH of around six. The purple cabbage, on the other hand, was a little bit darker. Um, although it didn't change color very much, it would probably indicate a pH of somewhere between six and seven. So those are the results from the pH testing. And here again is my jar, which will set for the next 11 days. Today is the fifth. Um, and I'm gonna set that to the side there. And we've also got the, uh, the purple cabbage, which will be uh, placed in a container and into the fridge for use at a later date. Um, so, I think, uh, I think that was the steps that I went through. As you can see, uh, the kitchen is now a mess, but that's okay. Oh, it's all in the name of learning, which is great. It also smells a little funky, but I'm sure that will clear up as I clean up. So thanks a lot for uh, enjoying my video. I hope that it was informative, and I'm looking forward to part two of this experiment. Thanks a lot, and have a great evening.